I 3D scanned this specific mushroom type over several years in multiple countries for this 3D printed design. This big one is special though, because way back when it was tiny, it was one of my very first 3D scans. It is crazy to see two years of growth with some features still being almost identical. This inspired me to use all of my red belted bracket mushroom scans for a big assembly. Mushrooms grow on round things, trees, but I'm converting them to grow on a flat thing my wall. So I am adapting them a bit to be able to cut off the trunk. Now I have to determine the print size. The big one is over 30 cm wide, but since my maximum build size is 25 cm, I scaled them all down to 70%. Once I cleaned up the details and got some twigs out of the way, I slightly adapted the smaller mushroom to fit the holder and flattened out the top just a little so these will actually be useful. I created surfaces to split the mushrooms based on where the color zones ends, since I want this to be printable in single color. The split took forever, but to take it even further, I also hand painted multicolor files. I made a little board to see which of my filaments matches the natural color the best. After all parts were printed, it's finally time for the assembly. I cut out holes for small positioning pieces, so after applying some glue, I can simply lock in the gray part and then the red brim. I repeated that three more times and fixed them with some duct tape to dry for a few minutes. Now I can mount the entire gang and place some cute little things on my new red banded mushroom wall shelves.